A court in Saudi Arabia has sentenced a blogger to deportation and 10 months in prison for a post supporting equal rights for gay people. What the hell? Hold on, let me read the summary. A court in Saudi Arabia has sentenced a blogger to deportation and 10 months in prison for a post supporting equal rights for gay people. Blogger Muhammad Al Bukhari is originally from Yemen. He's lucky he's from Yemen. If he was from Saudi Arabia, he would have gotten a lot, in a lot more trouble. Um, it's amazing that they could even think that they could put him in prison for 10 years, given that he's not a Saudi citizen. Blogger Muhammad Al Bukhari is originally from Yemen, but fled in June 2019 to Saudi Arabia. Imagine how situations in Yemen are that you are fleeing Yemen to Saudi Arabia. Like, yeah. Uh, but fled in, uh, in June 2019 to Saudi Arabia, where he was living as an undocumented migrant. On April 8, Bukhari was arrested because of a video he posted on Twitter in which he mentioned gay rights. After his arrest, according to Human Rights Watch, he was subjected to a forced anal exam. What the hell? You share a video and people mess with your butthole? After okay, so after his arrest, according to Human Rights Watch, he was subjected to a forced anal exam by police to determine whether he is gay, a practice which has no basis in science or medicine and is condemned internationally as a form of torture and sexual assault. What the hell did I just read? Anyways, you got what do you guys think? I mean. Every, all he said in that video was everyone has rights and it should be able to practice them freely, including gay people. And that's all he said. And I'm saying, like, even if he was in Yemen instead of Saudi Arabia, like, the punishment for same-sex activity in Yemen is, I think, also prison. And even it can lead up to execution and 100 lashes. So I think he avoided that. I don't know if they would have, like, for sharing this video, they would have uh, given him that punishment, but he could have avoided that for just some prison sentence. And maybe now he has some chance of, like, getting asylum somewhere else or something. I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, wouldn't... Okay, so right now he's in Saudi Arabia, right? Because the gay... The, the mad gay kids is asking... But wouldn't he get in more trouble once they deport him in Yemen? And Yemen is not is extremely unfriendly as well, right? I don't know. I think he might. I think that's what Shopam said yeah. that he's actually maybe in a better position when he's in Saudi Arabia than he might have been if he's in Yemen, or maybe worse if he goes back to Yemen because now he's. I I don't know. Isn't that what you said? Maybe I'm missing. Yeah, that's what I said because if he was in Yemen. And I don't know if they would have uh, given him the same punishment like for same-sex activity, for just advocating for gay rights. But if he was there and if they did give the same punishment, he would have faced 100 lashes, imprisonment, and it could have even led to execution. So wow. he may have avoided that. All for sharing a video. So imagine being like, hey, I'm so happy that they just um, messed with my butthole instead of killing me. This is great. Uh, awesome. Um, here's another, um, here's a comment that I don't know what, uh, okay, let me see. Cliff is saying, for all the Americans crying about free speech, uh, right now, this is what no free speech looks like. No Twitter banning you for being a racist or tinfoil hat a hole. Okay. I mean, I agree that I, I kind of agree and I disagree with that comment. First of all, um, Yes, Twitter banning you is not a violation of free speech. It is censorship and is bad in many cases, but not all cases. But it, it, it's censorship, but it's not a violation of your free speech. But so in that in that aspect, I just I, I agree. But but if there was a free speech violation in the United States, you know, like for example, Trump saying that there should be prison sentence for people burning the flag, like stuff like that. Even if it's not as bad as Saudi Arabia, like you can still bring attention to it. Like people are like, oh, this is this is what uh, anti-free speech actually really looks like. No, no, there's you don't have to get to Saudi Arabia level of 
anti-free speech for it to count as anti-free speech. There's many, many steps before that that you're actually violating people's free speech. Um, do you guys agree with that? All right. Okay, you guys are nodding. I agree. Okay, okay. Yeah, I agree. So I'm going to go... Hold on. Let me bring up the next news. Oh, wait. Hold on. Michael Sherlock is saying something, and I'm quite, I'm legally obligated to read them. Michael is saying, what punishment would he suffer under the Trump administration? Michael, I asked this question to show the poor argumentation made by the far leftists in this space. Again, yes, but again, Trump has done... Trump violates people's free speech without going to that level. Like it, again, it's obviously not even close to that, but it's still you can still complain about it. You're allowed to complain about things even though they're not as bad as Saudi Arabia. Justin is saying it's possible for there to be two problems, human rights issues in other countries and Twitter being unfair to people. Yes, yes. And yeah, and they don't have to be at the same level for you to be able to criticize one of them. Um, fair points, fair points. News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has? What's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell, <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that. They want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos 